Hello everyone, here on the Mad Auto Channel. Today, we'll tell you about cars that have shaken the world with their technologies and innovations. Some cars may now seem quite ordinary and simple, but at the time of their release, these machines caused a real stir among car enthusiasts. They challenged established norms by offering something that previously seemed impossible. From the first mass-produced electric cars to smart cars from manufacturers you wouldn't expect, these vehicles not only changed auto industry trends, they redefined the very concept of a car. But before we begin, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let's get straight into it. On our list of the most amazing cars, it begins with the Volvo T6 Roadster from 2005. At the 2005 SEMA show, the Volvo T6 Roadster immediately impressed everyone. Imagine this car looked like a machine from the 1930s, and it indeed resembled the 1997 Plymouth Prowler. Interestingly, Volvo created this concept using a host of parts from its S80 and C70 models, including a 2.9-liter six-cylinder engine with up to 300 horsepower. The rear-wheel drive variant was equipped with a 5-speed Geartronic automatic transmission. The car could accelerate up to 204 miles per hour. The weight of the vehicle was 2,403 pounds, and this low weight was due to its 15 millimeter thick aluminum body panels. And you know what? Despite its coolness, Volvo originally had no plans to put this model into production. This car was originally and specifically designed for SEMA to dazzle everyone. The Volvo T6 Roadster made a splash at the presentation, but after the nominations and excitement, the car stopped receiving any attention. The company did not release the car in series, although initially, Volvo's management planned to do so. I'm sure absolutely everyone has heard of this next amazing car. Yeah, it's the Porsche Cayenne. You might be wondering why the Porsche Cayenne made it into this video. The first generation Porsche Cayenne crossover debuted in 2002. This vehicle was created in collaboration with Volkswagen. Porsche engineers were responsible for the design while the model's platform was used to create the Touareg. Porsche had conceived the idea of an SUV long before the Cayenne was introduced. They knew they could create a successful SUV several decades ago, but the financial situation then did not allow the project to be realized until the early 2000s. When the Porsche Cayenne finally came out, it was the company's first four-door serial car. However, not all Porsche fans welcomed it with enthusiasm. Some even accused the brand of betraying its roots. The reaction to such an atypical car from the German brand was initially controversial. But over time, the vehicle became kind of a standard in the segment of expensive crossovers. Initially, customers could purchase two-cylinder engine versions, the Cayenne S with a naturally aspirated engine producing 340 horsepower and a 4.5-liter volume, as well as the Cayenne Turbo with the same engine but already with turbocharging producing 450 horsepower. But this was just the beginning. Later, a base version of the Cayenne with a 3.2-liter VR6 engine from Volkswagen, developing a 250-horsepower engine appeared, and a unique feature of the model was the option to choose a six-speed manual transmission instead of automatic. Over time, the true flagship model appeared in the lineup, the Cayenne Turbo S with 521 horsepower. In 2000, many experts were negatively inclined about the Porsche Cayenne, assuming that due to the insufficient demand, the production of the SUV would quickly cease. However, the Cayenne was able to turn market expectations around and set sales records, proving that even with its non-standard characteristics and dimensions for Porsche, it deserves a place among the brand sports cars. Contrary to all doubts, the Cayenne not only retained its market presence, but continues to evolve, becoming better with each new generation. Today, now in its third generation, the Porsche Cayenne remains one of the most coveted SUVs in its class. It's dreamed about by millions. Sometimes the most ordinary cars have a unique history that make them truly interesting. Let's move on to the next car, the Lamborghini LM002, manufactured in 1996. What? Lamborghini and an SUV? Now, many think that the Urus is the first SUV from Lamborghini, but old school fans remember a different story. But let's remind you that Lamborghini started its activities with the production of tractors long before reaching heights in the automotive industry. A world-renowned company known for producing expensive two-seater supercars creates an SUV with the aim of entering the foreign market. Sound familiar? This seems normal today, but 30 years ago, it was an incredible plot twist. That's exactly what Lamborghini did when in 1986 they launched their SUV, the Lamborghini LM002. The LM002 project began when Lamborghini tried to get a contract to produce SUVs for the US Army. In 1977, the Italians created the Lamborghini Cheetah prototype, which was unimpressive. The main disadvantage of the SUV was its heavy weight due to the heavy engine at the back. Eventually, Lamborghini failed to convince American military officials that their USV should be supplied to the US Army. A Lamborghini eventually developed the Lamborghini LM002 for the mass market with a similar design. 
but with a 12-cylinder engine from the Lamborghini Countach placed at the front. At the end of 2017, Lamborghini introduced its second SUV, the Urus, with 600 horsepower. I think that today, if your neighbor found out you have a Lamborghini SUV, they would immediately become your best friends, at least until they saw the Lamborghini LM002. The next amazing car I'd like to introduce is the 1991 GMC Cyclone. The GMC Cyclone is actually a factory hot rod with amazing power under the hood. GMC equipped the SUV with a 4.3 liter V6 turbocharged engine specifically developed for this model and coupled with it a 4-speed automatic transmission. The 6-cylinder engine had 280 horsepower. It had mediocre looks. The vehicle had a record acceleration time of 100 kilometers an hour, about 62 miles per hour in 4.5 seconds, weighing 1,700 kilos. Do you know that this car shocked the world? At the time, the Auto Magazine car and driver speculated that the GMC Cyclone could very well be a Ferrari sports car killer. Ultimately, the experts decided to test their hypotheses by organizing a quarter-mile race. Thanks to the all-wheel drive system with the rear bias, the Cyclone SUV beat the Ferrari 348 TS sports car. And just watch how the GMC Cyclone destroys the sports car from Corvette. If you search GMC Cyclone on YouTube, you'll find a bunch of positive reviews and videos where it wins races against various sport cars. It seems like there simply is no alternative. I think GMC faced a tough choice, create a sports pickup or one for city driving, and yet they made a sports version. The interior had sports seats, expensive finishing materials by General Motors standards, a dashboard from the Pontiac Sunbird Turbo, a leather wrapped steering wheel, electric controls for everything that can be moved, raised, and lowered, air conditioning, and a premium sound system for Delco Electronics. A pickup that outruns sports cars from the leaders in sports car manufacturing remains in history forever. Have you seen smart cars from Aston Martin? Now let's talk about the 2011 Aston Martin V8 Signet. When Aston Martin introduced the super compact car Signet in 2011, it possibly shocked the auto market as much as a UFO appearing in the sky. It was unlike any model ever to bear the company's winged emblem. Due to the size of the body, the Aston Martin Signet was completely different from other cars in its class. But the main thing, this compact car was as expensive as other brand models. And this, despite the fact that Aston Martin Signet was based on the Japanese model Toyota IQ, in which the premium compact car was based. By the way, if you would like to hear more about the Toyota IQ, click the like button and subscribe to the channel so we can start thinking about releasing the second part of the video about the most amazing cars. Aston Martin released only 100 of these cars. The engine was a naturally aspirated 1.3 liter with 98 horsepower. The brand's clientele did not take Signet seriously and from 2011 to 13, only 150 right-hand drive cars were made for England and the same number for exports. Mocking such a past is a sweet affair. One of the owners decided to transform the modest three-door into a real supercar. Thus, the Aston Martin V8 Signet was born, presented at the Goodwood Festival of Speed. The construction of this unique car was handled by the Q by Aston Martin division, which makes custom-ordered cars. The creators call these three-door models the ultimate urban car and present it as Signet with a supercar engine. More accurately, it is an Aston Martin V8 Vantage S from the previous generations with a microcar body stretched over it. The Aston Martin V8 Vantage S is quite an interesting minicar. The Vantage model lends not only its naturally aspirated 4.7 V8 engine with 436 horsepower and 490 newton meters of torque, which it's front mounted. It also inherits subframes, a suspension, a 7 speed Sport Shift 2 robot gearbox, and a rear wheel drive transmission. The resulting car is 3.7 meters long and weighs only 1,375 kilos. The dynamics are impressive even with a blunt body. From 0 to 100 km per hour, the Aston Martin V8 Signet accelerates in 4.2 seconds. The maximum speed is 274 km an hour. However, with such a short wheelbase of 2,020 mm, driving at such high speeds becomes doubly dangerous. The last and truly mind-blowing car that's been discussed over the last five years is the Tesla Cybertruck. Although the world has been long accustomed to surprises from Tesla, which are usually unexpected, the premiere of this off-road vehicle shocked experts and regular car enthusiasts. Cybertruck represents a different level of vehicles. It completely reimagines what a future off-road pickup truck can be. Regardless of what awaits the Cybertruck in the future, one thing is clear. This Tesla off-roader will definitely make automotive history. It has already established itself as one of the unique vehicles that has amazed the world. 
Introduced in late 2019, the Tesla Cybertruck stands out with its futuristic design and impressive features. It has a unique angular shape and is made of ultra-strong stainless steel. The Cybertruck will be available in three versions, with one, two, or three electric motors. With the three-motor version, it's capable of accelerating from 0 to 100 km per hour in less than 2.9 seconds. The range varies from 400 to 800 km depending on the model, making it one of the most powerful electric pickups on the market. The Cybertruck also boasts enough space for six people, and the equipment includes autopilot and many other technological innovations that underscore Tesla's reputation as a leader in the automotive industry. And that's all, folks. Thanks for watching to the end. Click the like button if you learned something new, and subscribe to our channel to keep up with our other interesting videos about the world of cars. In conclusion of our journey through the world of automotive wonders, we reviewed six cars that astonished the world with their innovations, design, and technical capabilities. From the first Lamborghini off-roader to the futuristic Tesla Cybertruck, each of these cars has contributed to automotive history, prompting us to rethink the possibilities of vehicles. These cars not only demonstrate the genius of their creators, but continue to inspire engineers and designers to create new, even more astonishing technological masterpieces. So let's continue to follow the world of cars, because who knows what amazing machines await us in the future. Peace out.